T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Command engine start. 2, 1. Control confirms New Shepard has cleared the tower and is heading to space. Now you can see on the lower side of your screen that we're gaining speed. As New Shepard gains altitude, the atmosphere gets thinner. The bar on the left shows the vehicle's ascent. Now we actually started at about 3,700 feet MSL. That's how far above mean sea level we are out here at launch site one. BE and three engine throttled up as we're going to push up to max Q. Again, that's the point where the aerodynamic stress on the vehicle is at its maximum. We're going to throttle back and then continue on up to space. It appears we've experienced an anomaly with today's flight. This was unplanned and we don't have any details yet, but our crew capsule was able to escape successfully. We'll follow its progress through landing. As you can see, the drogues have deployed and the mains are going to be pulled out next. All right, the mains are out. You see that they're reefed. They're going to be expanding. As the mains inflate, the capsule will stabilize. That's looking like a successful execution for the crew capsule and escape system.
and the crew capsule continuing to descend under its three main chutes. You can see those West Texas mountains in the background. As we come down towards the desert floor, we're going to expect that retro thrust system to fire. Again, that will take out most of the energy in the landing in addition to the parachutes. You'll see it kick up a big cloud of dust out there in the desert. There goes the retro thrust system. You can see how our backup safety systems kicked in today to keep our payloads safe during an off nominal situation. Safety is our highest value at Blue Origin. It's why we built so much redundancy into the system. We're going to close out the webcast for today. We'll share more information about the flight on Blue Origin's Twitter feed as we can. Thank you for joining us for today's webcast.